<sighs> Quick reactions. <laughs> oh man, I didn't even start the stream yet. I wish I did. If someone had that recorded, please let me know. Yep. Based. Yeah, I, I have it recorded. Uh, Excellent. People live right now. Someone clip it. Because no one will believe me. We don't believe you. Uh, how are we getting to our AO? Are we already there? So you'll decide your vector. Vector, vector. What's my vector, Victor? What's the little blue square? Uh, so there's two. Uh, choice of insertion. From there, you're moving in on foot. Are we getting flown in or just uh, quote unquote driven in? Quote unquote driven in. Uh, when you're ready, I can give you a brief and a rundown, and then we can set up deployment. Can you make Are a we... teleport object or truck? Sure. We need AT. Uh, you need demo for, oh god, um, six or seven things. AT, you'll need, uh, I would recommend at least one Matt Gunner. One what? Medium anti-tank gunner, Matt. Oh, they're most. We got can't two AT4s. You can't just make t phrases up. We have two AT4s, is that good enough? I feel like that's light. Uh, if you uh, if you hit the firing range later, then yeah. Okay. I don't know what that means. I have no idea. Anyway. I, just... I, I guess that's a warning that the firing range has more stuff. Here, I'm going to go set up insertion one second. Uh, we're going to be doing that. I need... Uh... What are those NATO or we'll use the CTRG variants? I need to test this, because uh, I honestly, I'm having, I don't know why, but I'm having difficulty wrapping my head around it real quick. Well, this should be interesting. What could possibly go wrong? A lot, actually, but... Uh, 
All right, so the good news is I made the insertion look cooler. The bad news is we're gonna have to deploy team at a time. Did you see that? It's under uh, okay. miscellaneous, the plus sign. Does that mean the, the team lead or just okay. four people in this team? Uh, up to six, I think, or however many can fit in there. It's gonna put, us in it's gonna put you in the vehicle, so if more people do it, I think they'll end up in debug corner on accident. So, just, so, so once we go through, give it about five seconds between person, and as soon as you're through, dismount yeah. immediately. Yep, yep, yep. Gotcha. Yeah, this time it has main tiger music. Uh, Hell yeah. It's the, the good stuff. Mm -hmm. so I, I, I want the briefing first before we decide which way to go in, because there might be special oh, yep. yeah. All right. So, here's the background for the operation today. Uh, the Russian government has reached out to us about a potential rogue sect of their missile corps uh, that seems a bit disgruntled with their current state of affairs. Uh, they've reached out to us discreetly over this in order to save face with their current other operations going on in the world. Regardless of that, uh, they have asked us to discreetly handle this sensitive topic. Uh, this branch of the military, the Russian Corps, uh, the Russian Missile Corps, have been working on restoring various Soviet-era missile sites. Uh, for what reason, uh, the government doesn't even know because they haven't been assigned such a task. Currently, our target is a missile base uh, located at Tizi. They have about anywhere between 200 and 300 infantry on and around the base at all times. However, they are concentrated in various positions. We also know that they will eventually call for reinforcements from a nearby military base and airfield. However, the Russian government will do its best to stall the calling of these reinforcements by up to an hour. Then they won't be able to stall them anymore and the government has also stated that they are acceptable losses for what is going on. But otherwise, our goal is going to be three separate parts of this missile base in order to fully disable it. The first is the control section containing the ability to launch from the missile silo itself. You are to find the central access terminal and disable it uh, via interacting with the main console. They're still working on modernizing, so they're using a single uh, temporary terminal in the form of a laptop case at the moment to get the missile system up and running before they upgrade it to a more hardened system. All you need to do is find it, interact with it, we've provided you all with a flash drive to disable it, and that will be that. The second part is the storage of the missiles themselves are currently contained in scuds. Uh, they plan to take some of these warheads from the scuds themselves and use them on the silos going forward. Uh, we don't exactly know how they mean to get this done, uh, but regardless in the dossier that the Russian government gave us, this was listed as a factor, so we're going to treat it as such. We know that the storage site marked on the map at least contains four of the missiles, and then two additional are located somewhere close by the missile silo position, at least within 100 meters of that marker. The final thing to destroy is the power station, uh, specifically, I believe it is that position marked there. Uh, basically, the local power grid that feeds power to this position. By destroying that and the other damage you'll be doing to the silo, the Russian government can deem this site unsalvageable and thus relocate any survivors to different forces uh, that they have more of a tight control of. Now, there are other positions marked on the map. The first is an off-grid communication site. If you want to take a more stealthy approach into this area of operations, I would recommend the southwestern insert point, hitting the communication site, and then while forces are being drawn to it, sneak around them by either going north or southeast, and then trying to hit the additional objectives in the core of the site itself. If you want a more difficult but a quicker approach. You can take the northeastern site and get right on top of a majority of the objectives and try to get it done before other QRF from the 
Northwestern Air Base, relative to us, the Southeast Air Base, is able to deploy forces within an hour. Now, a few other notes. The barracks position is where a good chunk of the military personnel are staying in an encampment. I would recommend you avoid that. Unless you are hitting the communication site, then those forces will more than likely move to the commun communication site. You'll be able to sneak around it from the south, thus bypassing it and getting to the storage site. And then you have the firing range, which also has a large arsenal of Russian equipment in case you need to find more AT, explosives, AA, anything that should be within their arsenal. Are there any questions? Quick question. Ourization has zero effect on the control section whatsoever, correct? It is more so to damage the infrastructure. Uh, so that the Russian government can deem this site unsalvageable uh, in case they're... Because we're not here to eliminate the 200 to 300 personnel. The Russian government can handle that, but that's to basically have an excuse for the Russians to break up and try to figure out internally what's going on with this rogue element. Understood. Any other questions? We got intel on that firing range you said so the firing range uh it's just other than being a standard firing range for the russians uh down a about a 500 meter stretch it's uh also an armory so if you need let's say for whatever reason things go tits up and you end up in an extended firefight with nearly a company's worth of enemies there's spare ammo that you could loot from the firing range if it's needed Exfil plan. Uh, back to either of the blue square positions where you can grab your vehicles and retreat if you're using the northwestern, or excuse me, northeastern position. The closest route to friendly forces is north by about a kilometer. And if you're using the southeastern position, southwestern position, excuse me, the closest friendly forces are going to be west a kilometer. Thank you. And again, power station is literally the power grid. Just put explosives on there. And that should be able to do enough damage, regardless of what it looks like after. Any questions on the route? Right away on that. Do we want to poke at the firing range at all? I mean, we're gonna get within 100 meters of it, so we'll see what's there while we move past it. Oh. We got six missiles and a power station for demo. That was four missiles. Missiles. Uh, there are six yeah. missile trucks total, four at the storage and then two within 100 meters of the missile silo marked position. I'm sure of one satchel cause a chain reaction to at least do all, so. More than likely. Yeah. Fine. I'll make it work. I've got room to carry extra demo if we need it. Well, he did say there was possible... Off comps a mic. Grab, grab two just in case. Just to grab this and make it work, and then I gotta make sure that no one ends up in debug. I'll leave the vanilla stuff in there, it doesn't really matter. All right. Is that the right pick for the southwestern approach? Yep. When you're ready, feel free to deploy, and I'll be on 3-0 as Shepard, and I believe you are Hunter. Shepard, this is <laughs> on three zero over. He's broke. 
This is Shepard. Send message over. The advisor are stepping off time now. <laughs> Out. Alright, let's move. Team one going. <laughs> he actually fucking did it. So once they go first, then we're up. He actually like fucking did it. I can't believe he actually... Okay. That. Oh, that's lovely. That. That, I don't even know. Alright. What did I, I do? I think someone's still in the vehicle. There he is. Alright, I'm in. Great. Everybody else still good? Get 360 and get ready to move out. Did the. Huh! You test it! Why would I not be ready? To Blow up! Okay. One second. I gotta I gotta go do something real quick. Hold on. Start pushing straight north and follow the route to the comm station. Can someone do me a favor and figure out uh drum hellers jester 814's tip page and send me a link to it because i'm gonna send him 20 bucks for that because i told him i would literally pay for him to do that during the stream and i want to make good on my progress um i have no idea what caused the vehicles to explode there uh i'm thinking like were they close by like what what caused that one that was a weird one uh, his, um, like his stream tip page or something. Because he actually did that and then, yeah, they proceeded to explode. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna shoot him 20 for that because that was pretty damn funny. Now, no battalion today for them to fight. It's only gonna be a uh, company, which is 300, but we can reinforce. As soon as first contact happens, I'll be timing the mission by an hour. Uh, but this is just meant to be a more simple op, which we were supposed to run two weeks ago, but then I, I, I think I had something IRL happen that I had to cancel for. I honestly forget, but yeah, it's going to be a bit of a walk. And then I'm going to cinematically throw a gas by um as they uh, get things set. If we're able, I want to pop everyone at the comm station, set demo, pop everyone I mean, his at the PayPal comm also station, works, but I, um... Then once we're circled all the way around... There should be so a way to get a donation message going on his stream, right? That's what I'm looking for. Then blow both of those and see if it draws anyone out and start pushing them. Uh, I doubt we'll be able to get that far without getting shot at, though, so... Get a copy, I think it's... I give you do exclamation point tip on my channel, it gives a tip page, I'm looking for his. Yeah, so like that's mine, but I'm wondering what his is. It's if he uses stream elements or if it's a stream labs thing. Thanks, Pave, I appreciate it. So if you'd use the multi, by the way, which I didn't even put in the damn title because I'm a goober. One second.
Uh, I've got his and Kendall's stream also up on the multi. But Pave said it to me, so thank you for that, broski. Hope everything's A-OK -okay with you. Sorry, I've been ignoring your DMs also. I've been very busy. Sink it to my PayPal real quick, lovely. But yeah, just to get a little bit of activity going for the vehicles here and then get them deleted, they're far enough, so I don't have to really worry. But yeah, this also throws out the fact that I can just have some gases set up as well. No, I'm not doing nukes. I'm sorry. Not what I was expecting to happen. I'll give it a few minutes. Cut back across the road west for about 100, 150 meters, and then we'll cut north. Copy. I'll give it like three minutes, and I'll turn the gases around. We'll try to figure this out. All right, well, I just shot that donation over to his page. That was funny. Alright. So, we know something just exploded. We have no idea what just exploded. No, Floodwayne, it wasn't your ass. It wasn't my ass either. Ass no, it didn't All explode. <laughs> You're a goober. And I love you all the same. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she did make a wonderful yeah. flank steak tonight for dinner. Because we were on a walk, and she's like, ah, I'm going to make dinner. I'm like, excellent. Please do. All right. My brain explodes from a goat scream, though. Decided to show that one MCO video again. Daz, you're not the only one. Wait. How many people have gotten the, the Scud video, the Nuke MCO video recommended recently? Because one time is just YouTube being YouTube, but two mentioning the exact same video, that's a little... 
because I'm I always well I, I'm gonna be honest I haven't st uh, done it recently I'm getting tongue tied now but I used to really try to keep track of how YouTube's algorithm worked and one is you know one but two especially when you consider people and their different viewing habits and everything two is when you actually have a trend to go on YouTube so I might actually go look into the analytics for that then but that's you know, weird. You passed it, but you seen it recommended? Within the, like, past few days? I don't know. I'll have to look into that. You saw a Soviet missile and thought, yeah, that's fair. Well, no, because someone else early in the stream also mentioned it, so that's why I got really concerned. Two, this is one. We'll cover you while you pu push in and set up the demo and then get out. We're not staying to fight. Copy one. We're still about 100 meters behind you. We're gonna do the same thing at the the power station as well. Yeah, all right, that's fair, Charlotte. So if I wanted to be clickbaity on Arma, we just grab the nukes, right? I can make a nice little custom trench line around it. The stuff I've been building for Cog, we can uh, we can just add nukes to it. The shots going at you guys. Negative. Roger, keep moving then. Okay, that... I wasn't expecting the AI to pull the alarm, but sure. That gas is about to cause everything to kick off early, so now I'm sending an entire platoon out here to figure out what the hell's going on. This wasn't in the Were script. Were we aware that there's another faction? It's just lamb suppression going nuts, but... I mean, at this point, let's let's just full send it. Uh, Shift in on this compound. I'm not seeing anything right off the bat. Wait, why are you shooting at the... What? That's not where I told you to shoot. Shepard, this is Hunter on three zero over. Hunter, this is Shepard. Send a message over. Uh, there's a firefight going on near us, and it's not us. Do we know who that is? Over. Uh, at this time, that is unknown. Over. Yeah, they're suppressing in the direction of the players. I refuse to believe this Gaz knows where they are. I think Lambs is tipping them off to that. How did the other BTR not? Okay, you're special. So what they're going to do is basically work with each other to aggro all this other stuff. Well, yeah. Lamb suppression gets another win in uh, making things really, really weird today. That's for damn yeah, sure. So again, about 300 personnel. That's about 40 to 50 right there. All the spawned in AI is about another 120, 150. 
So I still got about, you know, two more platoons to spawn in. Eight to ten squads. I know, right? Improv third faction at this point. I mean, from a storyboarding perspective, this gives me a lot to work with. side of the entrance of the building. Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna respawn these to fix their brain dead AI. Is that our demo? It's our demo, we're on top set. So that got AT and then they AT for the other BTR there and kicked things off because I was trying to just bring vehicles around to be cinematic. What on oh, earth? I'm I'm lowering this, but I think it's just lambs communicating with each other to do random suppressions. I just want to make sure no one gets accurately shot, because that would be very unfair. Like, we're back to vanilla days if they accurately get shot, you know? But now we're going to put all forces on high alert at this point. Off comms on mic. Honestly, I wish there was be a uh, bear because I almost called you Bean. It's different server to server and combination of AI mods to AI mods because it's how Lambs works is the groups actively communicate with each other. Uh, so they'll ignore my orders in place for Lambs scripting. And that's why you have those suppression, because it's supposed to make the AI more cinematic of working with each other to hit an enemy, but it's impossible to do stealth ops with that because the AI will always have a direct, like, a general idea of where the player base is. So it makes it impossible for me to fold everything in, because now these guys are moving over here. But I'm just going to create friendly fire instances at this point. Send in goat team six now. Ruro Raggy, the curse of lambs come again? I don't know, I just got on. Ruro Raggy, curse of rams again? Ra, ra, ra. <laughs> Good God. Yeah, I'm a, so for realism's sake, I mean, that's why I'm going with it right now, because, I mean, this is a milsim unit. We're playing with a fog of war. With a really twitchy faction. So it works out for me. Now the question is where are they going to suppress to? Yeah. Keep moving. Yeah, we're breaking contact and moving back northeast. Ha <laughs> ha, massive amount of confusion. But, you know, if the AI, I, like, normally I'd get mad about something like this because I'd be like, well, I've got a really specific idea for how I want the AI to be and blah, blah, blah. The, nowadays, it's like, nah, F it, we ballin'. If the player, if the AI really want to create this, like, crazy red-on-red -red style instance, go for it. But my god, like how that was entering the communications station. How are you doing that with no 
it's suppression because they're just firing in that in that direction. It's wild, man. Send one gaz over to try to figure out what the hell's going on, but my god. See, and that's the weird thing, too, because this is all vanilla assets. These are Livonian trees, because uh, this is Trinaris 2020. So when I see AI shooting through, I get a little concerned with stuff like that, but... This player base should know what they're doing, at least I hope. Smoked out. Because it's also rare that you see a player base able to weaponize on AI confusion because, I mean, that alone, saying it out loud, when's the last time you've seen the AI get into an actual confusion concern on something like that? Like, I see it once in a blue moon in certain ops with a full set of Lambs mods. Because the AI have no idea what's going on at that point, but... Here, I'm just trying to weaponize it. BTR coming from me. AT Alpha. So that should take the fence out, yeah. Okay. Now, realistically, this should attract the horde. And I should be forming up a second platoon to come over and figure things out, because everything's a mess at the moment. Yeah, so they're after that, and again, it's just infrastructure. I love how the BTR is slowly inching forward. I'm a little concerned about their AT amount, but... Team 2 has demo placed on the power. I mean, from All right, we're ready. from the op four side of things, though, this got this has to be confusing as hell because they're getting conflicting reports on where firefights actually are. And you got this uh, next platoon coming around. I'm worried that these two platoons are going to start engaging each other in like suppression. And we still have about 50 minutes before I can bring in any additional Op4 QRF. Like, what? Good death late on the other side of the seal to the north. What red on red instance was that? Like, good god. Thaler, thanks for the 
Twitch Prime sub. I hope you keep enjoying the operations, my friend. I do hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. Uh, did you demo at the first area? Nope. You said we were going to wait until we got the other one set. I told you to we're blow right. it when you said all those guys were moving through. There's no point now. We're not, try we're not stealthing anything. Just go ahead and fucking blow everything up. <laughs> Copy fire. Just blow it. It's a shame because I had a good amount of... Uh, AI MS there, but let's uh, set some secondary explosions off. Good enough. Moving northeast down on the north side of this ridge here. This should take us up around behind the fucking main objective. Alright, I'm gonna set up some additional infantry. I'm slightly concerned about some of the frames for the amount of pathfinding resources, but at the same time, we should be good. Yeah, man, I try to do a balance of everything, but at the end of the day, it's up to the player base's actions to decide if an op is serious or not, and uh, it's funny to me at the very least. All right, I'm going to send those guys on the previous order. I'm going to have these guys kind of fan out because they had an idea of where this team was going. And it looks like they bypassed through a little hole in the fence there. But yeah, they're, they're still suppressing. They're still suppressing each other. I... I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> like, why are they still aggroed up there doing that? Lambs is very confused with what the heck's going on up there. I don't even know how to describe it. Because I, I have a decent fundamental understanding of how everything works in Lambs and why Lambs does the things it does. This, I think, is a combination of the explosives re -aggro the AI and are now making them think that the enemy is closer than they actually are. Like, I, but even then, it's it's a weird combo there. All right, let's fucking push through and fight through this. I'm not leaving these guys on our backs. Yeah, and then these guys, literally, I... What really I don't get is the spotting. Like, how am I, how are we having spotting at this great of a, like, I've never seen AI spot this great. Yes. <laughs> but this is, this is as if it was like 100% of a coefficient, yes, honey. I love you too, honey. <laughs> yes, honey. Thank you, you are quite beautiful to yourself. Yes, honey. A little, that's okay. He's nice to me because I, okay. All right. But the AI are making shots that I would only see at 100%. And even then, I haven't seen the AI make that level of accuracy in a hot second because it's... I, I don't even know, man. This is weird. This is... This is definitely a little weird. Where did the third gas come from? I still got the gas at the gate. There was no other gas, so I think I just somehow respawned it without deleting it. So I'm gonna move the vehicles around. Yeah, I was gonna put ammunition in the side buildings too, but I thought there was absolutely no point. And then I got another 80 Alpha here, so that'll give them more AT capability. The north are clear. Is the range clear? Range is clear. There was guys out there shooting. We killed them. All right, let's keep moving to fucking objective three. All 
And the BTR just got stuck again. <laughs> I can decisively say, though, I think I have all 300 AI down and about at this point, uh, or at least... Maybe I'm hearing another Vic coming from the southeast. At least 200 to 300. I can maybe put down four more squads of infantry when I feel like it, but... Yeah, they're still, they're still aggroing off of the previous position. I've got people wounded here that shouldn't even be wounded. These poor undertrained individuals. Why did you just dismount? This is kind of freaky. Just with the sheer amount of suppression going on, because it's either statics doing things that I haven't seen them do in all honesty since like 2017. Like, this used to be a big issue back when I first started doing Zeus stuff heavily, uh, under Bluten even. Because uh, we would have a meme of if you put a static turret down, it would almost always spot you immediately and insta-kill you. And that's why we tried to tell Luton back in the day to not use more than, what, like, one static turret per position. Nowadays, it's not so bad anymore, so you'll see me occasionally put, you know, more than a single static in an area because the AI will properly suppress with it, but now it feels like a combination of lamb suppression and just that really old, powerful spotting coefficient just immediately allowing the AI to find the players, and I'm struggling to see why. Oh god, that. That got Kendall. Did you do that? Oh. Oh my god, dude. Dude. It's in the fucking tower. Dude just whiffs the fourth shot to make it look like he wasn't just annihilating everybody. Iander, is that you? Ah, damn it, Iander. You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> Holy shit. So that's Lamb's RPG to make the AI uh, with their launchers shoot at the player base. And for whatever reason, like, spotting and accuracy is jacked up. I, I don't know what to do here. I feel like this isn't overriding. I'm gonna lower everything because it might have those tied to certain lambs properties that I'm unaware of. And if it's still bad, I'll just outright disable global skill and just let the scripts completely take over and hope for the best. I think at this point we can start moving everything to the smoke. Uh, I'm waiting to put in my four additional squads, but... I might not have a choice in a second, because this is getting nuts. I mean, you got the AI popping smoke over here. There's a lot of confusion on the net. I don't know, Neutron. And the thing is, Lambs, uh, excuse me, the 506, they don't update their mod sets when mods update. They uh, make localized copies of everything. 
but I know they haven't updated their <clears throat> mods in a hot second, because otherwise I would have had to update them to uh, play this op. So, honestly, I feel like the AI just chose violence today. I genuinely don't have another way to word it other than that. The AI chose violence. I gotta give it to Kendall, though. The man's on point tonight with that frickin' Moz. RPG went over. Just the way Lambs is behaving right now, I've seen elements of it with like the far suppression and whatnot. Rarely. I haven't seen Lambs pull a full crazy card like this in a hot second. I've seen it before. But this extensive? No. And again, it's just a combination of factors internal to the mod itself that I think cause it, but what it is specifically, I genuinely have no idea. This is my little 762 BMP. Honestly, it's adorable. No, here's the thing. So, Lambs as an AI mod, I honestly think is one of the best ones out there, if not the best. If you combine it with a few others, it's great. If you are trying to make missions that don't require a Zeus or just need a Zeus for, like, little debug things. Oh, Maze, you need to, you need to roll, boy. Ah, didn't roll fast enough. Uh, but with the Zeus and you want the Zeus to do, you know, specific things with the AI, then Lambs is a bit of a pain in the ass. But every mod, in my opinion, is a tool that in the right type of operation can be done really well. That GL actually just disabled the gun, funny enough. trying to pull him out, but I doubt Lambs is actually going to let me, because sometimes if I just set him to hold fire, I don't want to send him to Careless, because then they'll... I'll try Stealth. But the gun's completely disabled from one of those GLs, so I want to try to pull him out of here. Still got AI all the way back here. But, I mean, I've also seen Vanilla do really weird things. But I'm, I'm seeing a lot of AI dying, like, all the way back here. And I'm going to be honest, there's no way in hell the players hit these AI up here. So I have no idea why there's a chunk of AI dead up here, for example. You know what I mean? Like, it's not making any sense... There's a dead AI all the way over here. I I don't know. I think suppression is causing groups to shoot each other. When a group takes contact, they immediately hunker down. So I genuinely think there's just a lot of crazy friendly fire going on at the moment. Between the AI through the suppression module. And that is just crazy to think about. It benefits the players. So I'm not going to complain. It's just a really... Weird call. I want to at least open a door to show that they... All right, the other one. We pushed up to the... Looks like the guard post over here to the southeast. We're by the burned out BTR. Looking for AT to try to take out this other BTR. Here, I'm going to give him fuel. He does have fuel. So this guy can be committed at any time. I'm surprised Lambs hasn't pulled him yet. But then again, they also haven't pulled that. Be, uh, gosh, what's the designation of you? PRP, because it's, it's 
It's a little baby PMP. But yeah, it's it's weird that I'm having deaths over there. And even at the firing range, they're shooting at you. And there's AI somehow trying to vault into the building and getting stuck. Because Lambs also does have some decent pathfinding to dynamically breach. Ignore the fact that that dude just ran through the stairwell. Um, yeah. There's a lot of weird shit going on, and I'm just trying to take the AI incredibly cautiously. Because what else can I do at this point? Now, I did say there'd be like three or four more squads I could spawn, and that would be it. And I'm, I'm going to put those uh, squads down now. All right, that BTR I'm removing from play. I'm going to respawn this gas and manually have it come around. And again, I pulled it out because the gun's disabled, so it was pretty much useless to me anyway. How to install lambs IRL. So, fun fact, whenever you see an AI spawn, or uh, not spawn, uh, phase through something, that's more so a pathing issue. So, as long as you find a way to just override how your pathing works, like how you walk, then you can just matrix walk through stuff, you know? Just... Just fix the world pathing, and you can do whatever you want. Set your own rules. Go nuts. All right, the 155 mark on there is when I start bringing an airborne cure out, because by then it's been an hour. Oh, they took the GMG just to hammer this position. Not a bad call. Yeah, I'm not surprised the AI would be phasing through doors in Reforger. See, the funny thing is AI normally do it because the buildings that they do it on are older buildings that haven't been properly ported over. So the reason they do it, that was a good GL. He's getting suppressed by the PK uh, T on it, though, but I digress. The reason it happens in Arma 3 is because it's older buildings and they haven't been programmed to properly open the door before they pass it. So they just phase through it. So I wonder, because all of those buildings are from Arma 3 that they then ported over into the, in, um, the new engine. Because I doubt they remade them one to one. I think they just literally ported them. Uh, because you can do that. Fun fact, you can you port anything the from, uh, We're the older Arma engine now. into the new one, which I forget the name of. You just have to re-config uh, it from scratch. Um, they, they don't like it when you do that, but I'm just letting you know. Infusion, that's it. You just have to completely reprogram it, but, um, yeah, I, I doubt they, they program those in properly. Yes, honey. Uh, yeah, what? Okay. Okay. As long as we go early. Alright, troopers doing the objective. I made a little missile room. I don't know, I just like my little sci-fi images, okay? So that's one of the objectives done. Now they just have to demo that, 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 and that. And I've got more waves of uh, Op4 attempting to come into this position. But that GMG is definitely causing something. I'm going to make an attempt. I'm going to spawn some smoke. And try to dynamically have the AI pull away. Because they're taking heavy GMG fire. Like, he just phased through the building. He opened the door. 
He also opened the door, so why did he not open his door, but the other two opened their doors? Like, bro, I don't know. AI are being weird today. Hey, righto, Iron. Well, there's going to be plenty more attempts to play. I think I still have slots on my MCO this weekend, for example. So if you want a 70 to 80 player Siege of Jadakville op, that is still on the table for anyone to jump into. Breach and clearing these now. I'm gonna go ahead and delete some of the bodies back here. Trying to have Op 4 elements pull away. Because they're realizing that's a meat grinder for their forces. Is this other two story building with the camo paint cleared? Are you stuck? Or are you just. Been able to get to that. This yeah, you're stuck. Okay. Give a general rally point, divide the forces, and then counterattack accordingly. I always forget how much HMG and GMG ammo they actually put in the gas, it's like 20 belts. And the reason they give it that many is because if you look in the texture, they just decided, yeah, today we're going to choose violence. So each one of these is actually textured in. So there's like, you know, 13 or 14 in here and then a bunch of PKT boxes too. It's, it's nuts. Well, the attach... Isn't we need to get to that storage building so One we second. get more AT. I think where everybody's at. Attached to and attached to relative aren't creations. Let me. They're not creations of Bohemia in the sense of the Zeus interface. Those are all mods. The actual uh, attached to and attached to relative script commands, though, those are Bohemia. But, you know, for scripting when you're making the mission file. Uh, not actively Zeusing. So the things we have in Zeus, like, you know, Control shift a Dude, for that built-in attach. We found the computer and disabled. Um, you're just going to have to wait for someone to make the, uh, you know, the Zen or the Achilles or the Ares version of the Zeus interface in Reforger. I mean, it took them... If Arma came out in 2013, I forget when the Zeus interface came out for Arma. Uh, I think that was 2015? If someone wants to look up Arma 3 Zeus and uh, let me know when that came out, I can then give you a rough estimate of when you're probably going to get the first Ares, quote-unquote, for Arma, which, you know, was the first Zeus mods. No, Zeus was uh, before Apex. Apex was 2016. If I recall correctly. No, 2018. Yeah, so we have Zen right now. So, Zen came out a few years ago, and then a few years prior to that, Achilles came out, and then a few years prior to that, Ares came out. So, that's that was the schedule. So, April, so 2014 means it was about a year after the actual base game came out. And then after that, it took like three years for Ares to be made. So if we're tracking Reforger coming out and then uh, Ares coming out and we're already one year in, you're going to, on estimate, wait another two years for someone to make an improved Zeus interface okay. for it. The actual silo. Yeah, if you remember the old 2D editor that's now been phased out by uh, 3DIN. I mean, I only worked with that thing, I think, twice, and I hated it. They're just they're following him anyway. I'm sorry I keep cutting off. Bloodwind just randomly dancing next to me and doing a bunch of inappropriate poses, too. It's, it's a little distracting.
Oh, she's just staring at there we go. Alright. Yeah, again, Reforger, as Neb says, Reforger is literally a test bed for Arma 4 so they can iron out everything and have modding ready to go for uh, Arma, uh, Arma 4. Sorry. <laughs> oh, they found some of the launch trucks. the best BMP ever. It's literally a oh, PRB. And she's literally almost halfway through all of her ammo. It's brilliant. And I think GLs are coming in because they're trying to disable the vehicle. Oh, every time I speak, you dance. Okay, I see. Miss Dancing Cactus. You know, funny oh, enough... This is the rest of my force here. After they take that out, everything's going to be static. I could see uh, send the entire barracks garrison after them. Which, actually, F it. At this point, the entire base is under attack, might as well. Then take them out so they don't go into pathing hell. I guess the Russians don't have to worry about sending anything away if the entire force gets wiped out right. <laughs> right, because at that point... Now you're thinking Russian logistics, yeah. It's always been a game of attrition at that point. Good God, we're gonna have mission dev after this, after a brief break, but I, I wanna show you guys what we've been working on for the KOG file this weekend. Oh my God. It's pretty sweet. Oh yeah, I guess they notice. So fun fact, these were supposed to be stacked with these on top, but they broke because I turned their physics off, but I guess their physics somehow got re-enabled. So, uh, yeah, I just shrunk them down. But yeah, these, um, these are just for show. Like the objective, this is just meant to be a little area here. I made a few fun little things out of vanilla assets. But they're literally just vanilla silos turned upside down. And if you go too high, you'll notice that these aren't even textured. <laughs> But, like, again, it's a, it's a missile base being made, so they're working on scaffolding. And this is just, uh, funny enough, the vanilla, there's an example of it here. It's, uh, it's these just sunk into the ground. <laughs> I don't know. I've always been fascinated with being able to take vanilla structures and then, you know, morphing them into something... It, it is essentially the uh, the map building version of Kiss Bashing. That would be a good way to put it, as as. Of course, that uses very advanced terminology and slain that the general viewer wouldn't understand without you know watching my mission dev and you whatnot. Guys put but on yeah. Yep, we got demo set on. That was weird. I hit multiple buttons at the same time, and that happened. Yeah, we can't we can't really launch it though. That's the issue. Zen's replacement is Game Master Enhanced Odin in Armor Reforger. So there's already there's already a mod for Zeus in Reforger Razor. Is that what you're saying? 
So screw my estimate. It's already out, guys. It's already ready. Boom, GG. So if these were the nuclear version, they would go... supposed to do that um um oh mm. okay um for those of you that are new let me explain in the rhs afrf mod there are three types of missile launchers that i call scuds even though they're technically not scud Too trucks you have the F model, which is HE, you have the K model, which is a cluster bomb, and you have the B, which is nuclear. Uh, we did not. We, I thought we were only getting the missiles, the actual missiles themselves, the scuds. Yes, there are missiles in the missile And I might have, uh, I might have, yeah. Yeah. You want to see how quickly I can fix a mission? Because here's the thing. I don't think it'll cook off in a nuclear explosion. But if I'm wrong, that's going to kill everybody. Insane. Yeah, um, so once in a while, Liru pulls what he likes to call an oopsie poopsie and speaks to the third person. Um, because he thought, oh yeah, you know, I'll just put these down as placeholders, you know, it won't be bad. You know, it just, it just happens. You know, like, they're not actually gonna set the nuke off. Yeah, just, mmm, 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 that would have been bad. Also, um, these guys cut through about 250 dudes. I'm down to probably 20 men right now. Did, did really one of them just run back to crew the stupid static? Okay, you know what? Yeah. Don't go tell Drum he's going to yell at me, and what Drum doesn't know, I don't get in trouble for. Dwarves, you tell Drum I'm going to spam nothing but P-39s at you for the entire Rat Road, Rate Road campaign, whatever you want to call it. You know, for a great low rate you can get online, go to the general and get World War II. Scrubs the VOD. Yeah, it's nothing to see here. Nothing bad happened. What Drum doesn't know, I already gave him $10 today because he literally did one of the funniest things I've seen him do in a hot second. Because I was talking about it off stream, but he was already streaming. Oh my god, they actually put explosives on the top of... That's funny as hell. I didn't tell him to, but... Because we were looking for these. But, you know, good enough. I approve. You know, I have actually, these might get destroyed. I just don't know if they'll go up or down because I flipped them upside down. Because you know when you destroy structures, it makes them like sink into the ground and then they despawn. So what happens if you flip that structure upside down? Will they still go down or will they go up? Hold on, I have to, I have to test something for science real quick. Um... Okay. 
they still go into the ground, thank god. Though it might leave something floating, but you know what? SCP! SCP! Don't worry about it, it's just an SCP! I think. It goes sideways, yeah. You know, with how this game is literally just... Even the devs have confirmed that, hey, we never meant for this to go past 16 players, so the fact that we see 200 player PvP on Russian servers blows our minds. Like, I'm willing to bet at this point this is all just freaking esoteric knowledge and insanity. It's all black magic that not even the devs know how to make it work anymore. Oh, this is a one-off. See, this is bullshit. This man shooting through the door. Are you sure? That looks like a really good frag to me. It worked! Got him? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Taking it. It would be funny as if I try to launch a nuke from inside the building. You know, that's a really bad idea. You shouldn't do that, Liru. Liru, no. Liru, you wouldn't even be able to because of how these are scripted. AI can't actually set them off. You know that, Liru. Liru, why do you still try? Liru, no. Liru, no. Liru, no. Liru, yes. It only put the out triggers out, didn't actually open the launch bay door. A script kicked in to stop me. So even the game was like, nah, fam. So they have nine minutes before I can even send QRF, and I have one dude in the AO. In fact, you know, he. This other one's clear. He was the guy. He was the guy. He's the secret enemy commander that instigated all of this. He is, um. Vladimir Arma, and he's he's ready to cause World War Seven. I don't know. They have not been swapped. No, we're good. What does Shepard say when the nuke gets launched from the submarine back in OG MW two? He's got the big bomb for that last good. one right there. Anyway, I'm sure nothing bad is going to happen. Shit, I don't know if he just called for me. Because I was out of radio range because I was checking shit. Shit, did he call for me? You're right, it was Price, not Shepard. Why did I say Shepard? I am so sorry. The guys had like two of them. I need black on 48G down the smoke somewhere. Blow those fuckers once you're clear. Two copies. I guess we're about to find out if blowing them up will actually cause a nuke to cook off. Heh. 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 You guys, uh, are you betting men and women? Because part of me is screaming at me to replace those real quick, or at least delete them. Arnold. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Shepard, this is... Three zero over. <laughs> this is Shepard on three zero. Send message over. Be advised, we are mission completed this time. All objectives have been destroyed. We are pushing to the exfil to the 
east northeast of the objective over. Roger, confirming all objectives are completed. We'll be seeing you soon. Out. Technically, he's supposed to out me, but I, yeah. <laughs> so the reason he did that was I made a joke with him, and it's on his stream, On his, it'll be on his VOD, that if he did that, I would pay him, and I, I paid him earlier for it, but my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's, that's brilliant. I'll tell you, you can turn your laser off now. Thank you. Well, yeah, that was fun. Down to three full mags. Grab some on my back. I got the big boys. Cool. You can grab as many as you need. Do you need me to put them in your bag? No, it's all let me grab. Just, we'll keep going. Fuck it. Let's get work. So there were 300 AIs. Anyone want to take a wild guess on how many are still left in that AO? Five. Five. Fifteen. One. In a guard <laughs> tower uh, on the bottom right side. You guys were within, I think, 150 meters of him before you started going off. So, and there were still nine minutes before the hour mark to even send the QRF, and by then you would have just walked over to your VIX and driven off, so I just decided to call it there. Um, the shooting was caused by lamb suppression getting confused, and they started shooting each other. I, I, also, there was another faction. That's cool. Yeah, there was another yeah, faction. They were just really confused, and I think it led to about 15 to 20 AI deaths in total. From either friendly fire or them bleeding out from friendly fire like that. That was a head scratcher for me. Um, also, what scratched my head was watching you guys TP in and then check in and then seeing the VIX exploded. I don't even know how that happened. I was too busy laughing over the goat thing. <laughs> that, was, that was beautiful. <laughs> As we were leaving, May's like... I wonder, I don't think there's any guys left. I was like, if they are, there's probably a couple left, and they're severely traumatized. Yeah. One dude literally just lost contact with everybody. Just well, now he gets to start his Mass tail. Effect playthrough as Soul Survivor. Yeah. <laughs> that was a big explosion. That was. Yeah, uh, I've learned now that the B models, uh, thankfully, do not cook the nuke off, because I accidentally put those in oh, there. Oh, they were nukes? Yeah. I don't know if you actually said they were nukes at any point. I uh, I yeah, didn't did because I didn't realize <laughs> I uh, I put those in. That definitely seems like something a CIA black ops guy would not tell his CIA team <laughs> while they were going in to blow shit up. Well, it's okay. I, I didn't even know. And I I felt what like the handler when I realized, oh wait, those are the B model because I was telling my chat like, yeah, no, I you know the nuclear version. I didn't use, and then I pull up the unit list and I see B model, B model, B model. I'm like. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> whoops. If it had exploded, we would have gone into a fallout op immediately. Yeah, I know, right? Restart. Ha ha. Part two. It's back. Oh, thanks, Liru, for the $10 donation. <laughs> I said I'd pay you if you did it. I wasn't expecting That's why I did you it. to. It's great. Did it every it's time. smoking like me, like, too. I would totally do it for 10 bucks. Like is like making that sound, and he's going to try to get you to pay him. <laughs> Oh, I did say 20. 66-month resub from Gez. Thanks, Gez. Hell yeah. All right, I'm going to chill with these guys for a bit, and then we'll get back in like 30 minutes to an hour for admission dev so I can show you guys what we're working on for uh, future ops. But thanks for chilling with me, guys. Um, Yeah, that was nuts. I, uh... I'm I'm still trying to wrap my head around how the AI behaved that way, but you know what? I'm just going to push it out of my mind. Have fun, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>